Welcome. My name is Randy Silver. I'm here in the Dan Patrick School of Sports Testing at Full State University. I'm a student in the program. I just started. I'm so excited to be here. Today we're going to take you through a day in the life as a student at the program. What it's like to be in front of the camera, behind the camera, learning all the pre-production, the post-production. Let's dive into the video for you. No need to wait. I'm so happy to make this. I love being here and you will love being here too. If you have any questions, reach out. Please like, subscribe to this channel to help continue to grow it and you can follow my dream, follow your dream of becoming a sportscaster. Let's get it. Here's a rundown of each section in the video. Go to the YouTube bio and you'll find the timestamps for each and this will also start each section. Let's start with the program rundown. Dan Patrick, the namesake of the program, Gus Ramsey, the director, Chris, the stage manager and the jack of all trades, and all the professors who are here have set this program up amazing. It gives you real world experience to what it's like to be in the TV studio. Whether the program you take is online or in person, it's 20 or 30 months depending on the pace you go. It gives you the life skills to be able to go out and get a job once you're done, such as learning pre-production, post-production, how to create a rundown, a cut sheet, a script, for every program that you ever will create in the real world. For me, it was a no brainer. I knew I had to move from California to Florida to get this real world experience inside this TV studio. I've never had this experience before and it was vital for my success moving forward. You get to learn all the different positions in the production room, in the audio room. You get to run each position so you get that experience. They build on each other. And of course, for me, the granddaddy of them all, inside the TV studio. Work with multiple cameras, different angles, have teleprompters, hone your craft at the sports desk, hone your craft at a video board, hone your craft at a green screen, and hone your craft when you're outside on assignment if you're at a sporting event. And lastly, the man himself, Dan Patrick, comes to the school a couple times a year to impart wisdom on us students. This wisdom is worth a billion dollars. He's an icon, a legend, and you get to hear stuff like this. The rest of your life, you will not get more honest feedback than you get here because people will be busy and they won't take the time or they won't care. We have the time and we do care because we want you to be better. So take it that way. This is meant to make you better, not embarrass you. That's, that's not what this is about. This is about making you better. How did I get better? As someone two weeks in the program, I was ears open, ready to take notes. I took 27 bullet point notes as you saw right there. Free advice from Dan, free advice from Gus. It will make me better. They've been in the industry for 20, 30 plus years. The crown jewel of the day is students get a chance to do a sports cast in front of Dan and Gus. Dan and Gus will then critique you in real time on your presentation, on your script writing, on your ability to vocalize, on how the storytelling was, and it's all there to make you better. Dan, simply put, is a TV icon. And for him to be able to devote his time to us to make us better as we try to break an in industry, is priceless. I did not get a chance to go while he was there. I'm two weeks in the program. However, I listened to everything he said to all the different students to make sure when I get a chance to present myself in front of Dan and Gus in this situation, I'm gonna knock it out of the park. If you wanna see more about Dan here at Full Sail University at his own school, the Dan Patrick School of Sportscasting, please subscribe, please like my channel. I have a full vlog coming out in about a month throughout this whole day and you'll get to hear him actually talk, speak, impart wisdom, everything in between. It's a great video for anybody who's interested in Dan Patrick himself, sports casting, and wanting to learn and grow. Altogether, the program won't be easy. The time you put in, the effort you put in, the dedication you put in is what you'll get out of it. Alumni are out there living their dream in the media field, sports, television, internet, whatever it may be. You'll find out more in number seven, but let's start with number two, TV studio. Let's start you off with a view as if you're at the sports desk. Pretty cool, right? With the cameras, teleprompters, we have the green screen. Each camera has the rundown so you know the shots that will be coming out. As I said earlier, you have to run all aspects of the studio. So you help with the setting up the stage, running the cameras, making sure that everything is squared away for the talent on air to be successful. Here's a couple shots of me working as a cameraman. You make sure that the camera zoom correctly, has the right angle, move the camera around the studio as needed, and of course, make sure the on-air talent is focused on the right camera. Let's listen to on-air talent. Rings, and most and recently in 2022. More details to come later. Now, look at me at camera three. Phoenix Suns owner Matt Ishbia and general manager James Jones had been. 
You heard the on-air talent say look at camera 3. Again, switching cameras, making sure as a camera operator you're prepared, and the anchor knows this based off of the rundown. Besides for just sitting at the sports desk, you have the opportunity to create segments for the big TV wall with 9 TVs there, the small kiosk wall where it's more intimate. In addition, you see right there, you have the green screen, so practice green screen like this. The team's put on a show for everyone to see, but for most of these players, they were playing to get a scholarship as they could potentially find a new, find a new stadium as their new home. This program also teaches you new media formats such as web production, music video, short films, commercials, so you have other avenues to pursue if TV studio isn't the only one you want to go into. And students get to bring in their own creativity. Ethan here does spoken word. So on top of the sports casting, he can show, hey, this is how I set myself apart. I'm able to be the best person that you should hire. Nobody else will bring what I can bring to the table. Let's listen in. Speaking out with honesty, I'm telling the truth. I mean, you guys always said to stick to the facts. I've been mic'd up for my time here, whether I had a tuck or be gone in a flash, I'm thankful for tasks. Only time will tell, but everything is exactly how I would ask. See, it's like, I'm sorry, Michael. If you're not feeling comfortable in front of a camera, feeling comfortable with public speaking, being in the TV studio, it's no sweat. The classes here prepare you and teach you to be successful with classes such as new media tools, broadcast writing, vocal training, and the professors give you real-time feedback and critique so that way you can learn, get better, and become the best version of yourself, like this. I'm not going to consider you further for a job, so just think about that whenever you're uh, making your montage, especially whatever, the, the best thing has to go first. Beyond the professors, your peers are there to help you too. We're all in the same sports casting classes, just different times when you started school. So they're there to help you. In my first two weeks there, people have been so nice and helping me train, teach, advice, everything in between. And everyone supports each other, loves each other, and loves to see the success that we have. It's one big family. It's great. Now let's move into the production room. Here's the production room right next to the studio. Let's start by listening in to what the production sounds like. So be able to shoot the ball. Yes. I know Harden and Kyrie were good and, and all that stuff, but I mean, you have three Hall of Famers on this list without a doubt. Right. It has three. three. The big three. Where that that Golden State. I just refreshed you. I agree with Thank you, Parker. You. Thank you for your insights. Always great to have you on the show. Thanks Turn for having three. me. Turn to three. Take. The voice you heard right there is the director's. Imagine he's your head coach. He's coordinating everything between the audio room, the production room, and the TV studio to make sure you're seeing quality TV. Here he tells the playback operator when to put the video in that goes to the TD, and the TD will make sure it goes on screen for the television crew to talk about. The director is the most important person in the TV studio. Without their commands, we would not be able to make television. Let's see more examples of this. Roll check, wipe sound full. Five, four, three, two, open this mic, fade up, and go. So make it out of the group stage. Well, Charlie, try to take. What you heard right there is the director following the cues on the rundown and the cut sheet to make sure we're following what is needed to produce quality television for your viewing. This is why pre-production is so important and there's a big emphasis at the school on making sure every segment has an accurate rundown and cut sheet. In the back of the room, right here on the right where the camera is with the two orange lines, that's the person running the teleprompter and then to the left where the camera's positioned is where the producer usually sits. Here I am running the teleprompter pretty straightforward job. You just need to make sure you go at the speed of the on-air talent. Each individual reads at a different speed, so it's making sure that you're setting them up for success. To restate, the on-air talent will only see the words within the orange line, so it's just making sure you stay focused. That is your basic overview of the production room, and everyone again teaches you all the different aspects of it for you to be successful. So now let's dive into the audio room. The audio room, as you would expect, controls the sound that you will be hearing through your television, mic volume, background music volume, equalization, everything in between. On the rundown, it has audio theme, so if the audio room coordinator needs to play background music over a highlight, they know what to play. Each on-air talent wears a microphone. You always do a mic check, no matter what, before they go on-air. This is the soundboard that you're seeing. It controls the microphone volume, the sound volume, controls the playback volume anything around the audio quality that is where it's all controlled from behind you you have a producer speaker and the director speaker so you don't have to be tethered wearing a headset and you can still hear the directions coming from the production room let's listen to a can mic I check can i get a mic check for you for me yeah yes. welcome to full set live i'm your host chase Brownwell. last night in oakland california the new york yankees starting pitcher domingo herman threw a perfect game Thank against you. the Thank now let's listen to a sports segment from the audio room 
in Oakland, California, New York Yankees pitcher Domingo Herman threw a perfect game against the Athletics. The performance was unexpected as Herman had a sub-500 record heading into this game. Turn and take. Wholesale Live's Colby Sims joins us from Oakland, where the Yankees continue their series with the A's this afternoon. Colby, you saw the perfect game in person yesterday. What was it like being around the team as it celebrated this historical moment? Chase, it was unbelievable. If you needed to, like I'm doing here, you can put background music over the person speaking on television, the highlight going on. The audio job isn't the most strenuous job again. It's about following direction and making sure you're hitting your cues so the sound, audio, and visual are all lined up. Speaking of lineup, next up is other parts of the studio that we get to experience. Many of us in the program, including myself, don't necessarily want to be tied to a TV studio. We want to be out in the field as a sports reporter, NFL sideline reporter, doing post-game highlights for the NBA, getting telecasts back into the sports desk, and we learn those skills here at Dan Patrick. You have projects and assignments like this where you're outside the TV studio and you have to do a roving report, create the script, create the storyboard, everything in between, and then go ahead and do your three minute cast. In addition, a part of the project launch box I showed at the beginning, you receive your own camera, microphone, everything you need to be to be your roving reporter and be set up for success to go anywhere in the world and you can create your own sports report. Here's a server studio for Dan Patrick School. Crazy to see, this is what runs all the technology that you're seeing. Lastly, next to the TV studio, we have a conference room. This is where we create the rundowns, the cut sheets, can just sit here, hang out, talk sports, anything needed for the TV studio, we can do it right here. This is where we get all our pre-production done, make sure everything is squared away so it can get thrown into the system for us to be able to be in the audio room, production room, and of course, in front of the camera to be successful. Now, let's bring it all together and talk about program perks. You will always create a cut sheet and a rundown for any segment that you create. In addition, you will most likely create a script that goes in the teleprompter. You'll work all different aspects of the studio, in the production room, in the audio room, in the TV studio, as a camera operator, and of course, as on-air talent. Let's watch a couple of examples live and recap them. Welcome back into Full Sail Live. Dreams turned into a reality last night as the NBA draft took place in at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Five, four, three, two, open this bike, fade up, and go. Have you ever heard the saying, two is better than Ready, one? Charlie. Well, let's try six. Here at City Park in St. Louis, Missouri, the U.S. men's soccer team launched a massacre of goals against St. Kitts and Navis following their 1-1 salvage draw against Jamaica. This helps to put themselves in prime contention to make it out of the group stage. Well, Charlie, track tape. Turn the music down. Or side, sorry. Turn the music down. Boss, we're gonna do that one again. Bust it, bust it, I'm just, I messed up, it's a side, my bad. Right here of us doing the production, we're just in office hours. It's open studio time, come in, practice, and get better at your craft. So if you mess up, it's an unpressurized environment and you can just continue to get better. For someone who's brand new in the program, been there less than two weeks, I've integrated myself to already being on the soundboard, being at the video board, working, and this is the best time for me to learn and grow, just getting reps and practice. So it's okay we messed up, let's continue to get better and try again next time and we'll make sure to get it right as a collective team. You all know my motto, one team, one dream, and the TV studio, it really takes that for everyone to be successful together. A major perk of being here, the leadership team coaching, teaching you, working with you daily, have 300 plus years of media experience. So they're able to give you real time feedback on the positive and negatives like here. The country, taking on the darlings, just the fourth class to make it into the field of eight. Trying to avoid that, lower third over some of the losses. Right? Another major perk is, they can bring in their friends from the media industry to give you life lessons and advice like Jay Harris from Sports Center here. You ask great open-ended questions and you listen and you follow up. You do all the basics. Well, that'll make you stand out. That'll make you stand out more than somebody doing a stand-up jumping out of an airplane. Because how often are you going to do a stand-up jumping out of an airplane? <laughs> yes, sir. Versus how many, time, how many opportunities do you have to be fantastic at your job every day? Even the most, the most slow news days, the most on the surface boring days are the best opportunities 
to buckle down and work on your writing and tell a good story. Uh, I've been watching Jay on Sports Center for 20 years, and for us to be able to get FaceTime with him like that, not him to offer his time, it's life changing. Same here. You did your sports cast, boom, let's talk about it, the critiques with the professors to make you better. That's why combined all together, this program is next level and helps prepare you to get a sports industry job. In the five years this program has been around, 144 graduates with 66 of them on air in some capacity. That's amazing results in return. And as this program becomes more well known, they will only continue to grow and grow. This list is posted right in the studio. So every day you walk in, you can see when you work hard, you fight for your dreams, what you can achieve as other people in your footsteps have already have. Thank you for watching the video this week. Hopefully you got an understanding what it's like to be here at the Dan Patrick School of Sports Casting as a student, doing the pre-production, the post-production, in front of the camera, everything in between. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Happy to answer them. Reach out to anybody in the program. Go ahead and follow the program and follow me so you can get a day in the life of what it's like to be here at Full Sail University, the Dan Patrick School of Sports Casting, as I pursue my dream to become a sportscaster. Thank you for watching. See you next week on The Tripod.